Hey guys, it's Adam on Static Steel Incision. And today, let's see, I got for you a toaster. We're gonna rip this whole thing apart and see what we can scavenge out of it. So first of all, is a very dirty thing. So, what you can see in there, there's a lot of bread and stuff. So can you see that? Yeah. All that bread and crap, it's stuck in the bottom. So that is going to really get in our way today. But we're gonna rip it apart nevertheless. Now wait a second. You've noticed something, haven't you? Yeah, the screen is wider, isn't it? Yep, it sure is. And I'm about to have a, a little title sequence video thing right here. So yeah, now after that, because <laughs> I'm finally editing and have a camera on a tripod now. Um, let's see what we can do to rip this thing apart. I guess it's always a good thing to start from the bottom. Started from the bottom now we're here. Yeah. Um, I'm not seeing any screws, but there is this metal plate. It's breaded. Very breaded. Let's see. Oh, there's a little wire in here. I was holding it down. Well, that's not the only thing. It appears to be holding it on the sides, too. Okay, so that's not going to come out easily. But remember, we're scrapping this thing. That's not going to cut. That ain't going to cut it. Um, there's got to be some way to break this open. I've got no cool clue whether or not you guys can hear me. Because uh, obviously this is a very different camera. Oh, wait a second. It bolts. There's four corners of it. Of course, duh. The pliers. I've been using the pliers to adjust the uh, height of the camera because it is stupidly stuck. So, let's see if this works. Mm -hmm. Just ain't gripping it. Someone's shooting a semi auto weapon somewhere out there. Doesn't surprise me. Where's my flathead? There it is. Got it in. Ooh, broke the plastic. Doesn't matter. Move this cord out of the way. It's not plugged in, by the way. That would be fairly stupid of me. There's another piece of plastic. Yeah. I've really got a sweep in here. Alright, we've been a little bit of metal, but you know what? Once again, it's all being scrapped. There goes that. Oh, wait, bug. It's getting warmer again. Uh, just yesterday, there was snow on the ground. Was it yesterday? Maybe two days ago. I don't even know. I swear there's something wrong with Mother Nature right now. Oh my god, all oh, the bread. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and try to pry it out on this side too. Let's see. If 
it wants to bend, let's let it bend. There we go. There we go. Come on. That's not what I wanted to do. Come on. Yeah. It's still stuck on there. Ta-da! It was literally just stuck. Alright, so there's that piece. And now we see the inside of a toaster. Dump it out real quick. Wow. You can probably easily see that with the sunlight. Yeah. Interesting. What are these made out of? It seems to be like something similar to what motherboards made out of this little film piece here, but it, it's thinner, you know. Strange. Alright, well, let's keep going. Got a little spring thing here. Oh, it's not the kind of spring I thought it was. It's by, uh, you know, tension more. See this? I don't know if you can see. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. This little piece here unwinds and then rewinds as you do it. Pretty cool. Alright, so what else can come off next? Yeah, you can actually watch all the little things go down. Maybe I should have, like, sprayed this out with water or something. Easy enough. A little trash anyway, for the most part. There's little pieces of uh, steel wire or something like that right here. Oh, this is part of the little squigglies in the center. And they affect this little triangle piece down here. Can you see that? Here, let me move it closer. See? They move it. Alright. Is that a screw? That looks like it's a screw. Nope, it's one of those stupid bolts. I probably have a, uh, a tool I can take it off, I just I don't feel like getting it, you know, because us Americans were lazy. True. That's definitely true. I, I will not argue with that. But, oop, the piece came off. Get back in there. Um, alright, let's see. Can't do anything with the bottom now. Oh, that opened. What is that? Bunch of crap, that's what that is. There's a little button or something right here. It's underneath. Oh no, it's not underneath. It's this little button here. It doesn't push in, it's just there. This little, what is this? It's probably a copper rod. Alright, I could always use more copper. Not that I don't have enough already. Definitely copper. It bent a little bit by that little bit of pressure. Oh, here's that steel thing I tried to cut before. <laughs> Which means... Yep, that's what I thought. This came right off. Probably spray these parts down with a hose when I'm done. What is next? 
Probably the hardest part about doing something like this is the trying to find the order that things will come apart in. So I can pull the little wires off of here. Or can I? Yeah. Some of this metal is actually a little, quite a bit sharp. I broke something. No, I didn't want to break something. Oh, this little film piece came off. I guess we can look at it better. It's like a, it's a thin coating or something on it. Hold on. There, there's the camera. Focus. Hold on. It's a little bit shiny. I dropped it. It's so thin, right, right there. I mean, it's a ripped off piece, but it's really strange. Um, actually, that makes me think. Yeah, so that's what comes apart next, sort of. Oh, there's little wires on it. Little wires all over it. Stuff's just falling apart. It's definitely falling apart. I think I squeezed it a little bit too hard. <laughs> Is it metal? No, that's not metal. I'm stupid. Come on. I've got like shiny flakes all over my hand. You see that? Everywhere. And this piece of flimsy steel wire bug in my face. Where does it go? Nobody knows. Oh, it's all connected. <sighs> Get out of my face. Jeez. It's connected to these two little pieces up here. Yes, I can. I have so much trash. Where's he go? Oh, yay, metal came off. So this is like one of the side brackets that a piece of bread would sit on. Why is this piece in the metal? Middle section. Alright, hold on, I gotta organize my parts here. Sit down, screwdriver. It's always a good idea to keep your workspace clean. <laughs> this is totally clean. Oh my god. Organize your trash. So I've almost got another one of those uh, toast rack pieces out, but now this thing is getting in the way of the little squiggly. Not squiggly. Why are you in the way? Oh, wait, maybe if I... Is that all I gotta do? Please be all I gotta do. Just bring the toast, toast rack thing down. Come on! Yes! Got another one. They're rusty too. Yeah, I got my tetanus shot. Tetanus, right? For us? That sounds right. I'm not sure though. No, oh, it's stuck. No, it's not. It's fine then. <laughs> Alright, let's not waste any time. Just go ahead and cut these little pieces off here. See if I can hold on. Come on, I've used this same tool to cut copper wire. It's like an eighth inch thick at least. There you go. I know copper's probably softer than steel, but you know, it's a good comparison. <clears throat> Crap. Oh, I thought it was just a little steel wire. No, it's a 
flat slab of steel, sort of. That's why I'm having trouble with it. Let's see if I can get it in deeper. Okay, let's just bend and break everything in the process. That's what we're supposed to do. <laughs> Those are pieces that look just like these two. Can you see that? Yeah, sort of. They look just like that. Maybe I just need to sharpen my uh, cutting things here. What are these? I don't even know what these are. I don't know what a lot of things are. Oh, that's a lot easier. I just gotta go at it from the top and squeeze them together rather than from the sides. Where the weight is. Or, yeah, where the weight or power or strength or whatever it is is more distributed. I know some stuff 